Police in Southeast Baltimore are investigating after an armed robbery ends with the suspect being shot. Just before 7.30 last night, police were called to the House of Spirits on Fleet Street for a shooting. Now, according to a store employee, a man walked in with a gun and tried to rob the store, but the employee was also armed, and they say shot the man. The suspect then ran off but collapsed on Collington Avenue. Police recovered a handgun from the man before he was taken to the hospital, where he's listed in serious condition. Baltimore police are searching for a man they believe is connected to the fatal stabbing death of his wife in East Baltimore. 39-year-old Amit Kumar is considered to be armed and dangerous. He's wanted after his wife was found dead Friday night in the 6700 block of Hollow. Bird Avenue with multiple stab wounds. While police aren't calling him a suspect, they do say he is a person of interest. Detectives tell WJZ he was possibly seen in the D.C. area. Anyone with information on Kumar's location is urged to call police immediately. A deadly crash in southwest Baltimore remains under investigation after two people are killed when a truck barrels into a shopping center. This happened on West Pratt Street on Friday night. Investigators say a woman and a boy were killed when the truck smashed into a brick storefront. Two other children were also hurt. Police say it remains unclear whether the woman and the children were in the vehicle at the time of the crash or if they were struck. Investigators believe the crash was not intentional. Meteorologist Tim Williams is updating the forecast right now. Tim. Well, Rick, we're watching uh, hopefully the tail end of the snow moving through through the afternoon. It's going to be the evening before it completely wraps up, but we are seeing basically th one to three inches of snow falling today, and we're talking from midnight until this is all said and done. 32 degrees, though, is not going to help it melt down very much. 32 right at freezing, and then overnight we go even colder. So anything that does manage to melt that's salted or untreated roads is going to refreeze overnight. Periods of snow tapering off, though, 20 23 degrees. That will be late this evening into the overnight hours. By tomorrow, it gets chilly, but 36 degrees. We'll have a good bit of sunshine for your Monday. 38 on Tuesday, mostly clear. 43 by Wednesday. The meltdown will continue. And then 35 on Thursday, 44 on Friday. And then we'll have a chance for, again, another rain snow event by next weekend. Rick? All right, Tim, thank you. Tune in to WJZ tonight at 6 30 and 11 o'clock for the latest news, weather, and sports. I'm Rick Renner.